This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Recording. Hey, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, that's Will Durst. Right How's over the there. weather in New York? The weather in New York is it's sunny today, and but the temperature is forty six degrees. I can tell because I have my watch and it tells me what the temperature. Your is. Apple Watch. My Apple Watch. Yeah. So uh, he, he, the weather over your left shoulder. He, yeah. Well, this is uh, this is the city back there, and this is a green screen here. So. You know, this is all fake, you know. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Anyway, let's see more of your face. Bring it, bring it, try and keep it in there. I know it's difficult. Uh, I'll keep my head up. Yeah, but you see there, it's, it's just got the top of your head. I know, but it's the best part of my head. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, all we see are your glasses now. There we can't you can you move the camera? Uh, actually, are you having trouble holding it? Is that the problem? See, we, Will has an excuse for everything now. You know, like when, I had a vascular incident. A vascular incident, exactly. What happens is, is you call any business and they, they're on, you're waiting on hold forever. When you finally get them, you go, why have I been on hold so long? And they said, well, you know, COVID, right? So COVID's become this catch-all excuse for everything. So when you don't get your picture perfect, you just say, well, in your case, I had a stroke. I had a vascular incident. A vascular incident. During so, COVID. No, just prior to COVID. Actually, you picked a good year. You wouldn't have been working anyway. No. Yeah. But anyway, how how you doing, pal? I would have, I would have practiced a couple of times. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. Shitty. Life sucks. The world hates me. I'm living in a cartoon. How are you? Uh, fine. Pretty much the same, except I'm not. I didn't have a stroke, and I'm not. How long have you have you been in a shall we say, non-mobile state? Uh, two years on October 7th. Oh, geez. Of this year? Yeah. So it's over two years. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Two years and two months now. What are they doing to get you out of there? This is an example of... Um, they claim to be doing therapy, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Yeah. It seems to be hindering... What do you mean hindering? How 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 does how is it a hindering? Uh, no pain, no gain. Yeah, I'm tired of hearing that shit. No pain, no gain. Yeah. Well, you've had quite enough pain. Where's the gain? Exactly. Yeah. So, wh wh where does it all stand now? I mean, you're not standing, but where does it all stand now? Yeah, that's the problem. I can't stand. I can't walk. Yeah. Well, I I never can I never could stand anything. So you're lucky you've got something. Uh, but but uh, so you can't walk. Okay, that's the that's the biggest problem. That's holding me back. Could you walk with like a walker? They say they don't want to try me on the walker yet because I can't support my weight on my left leg. So you have to support your weight on your leg in order to use a walker. Yeah. Okay, so you the only way you get around it all is wheelchair, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Is there a TV set on there? Can you turn it off? I can turn it off. T turn it off. It, 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 we're getting... We, we just got a commercial for Liberty Mutual or whatever. There we go. Liberty, Liberty. Yeah. So anyway, hey, how much how much money is there in insurance? How much money is there in insurance? Yeah, there's a lot of money in insurance. 
apparently because they they're the ones who are running every ad. Well, the, the, you know why they do it this time of the year is because it's the uh, there were, uh, October seventh is the last uh, December seventh. Wasn't that Pearl Harbor Day? December seventh yeah. is the last day you can uh, get your supplemental insurance. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so there's that. Yeah, uh, yeah there's that sign up period every year. But I, but I mean, all these, you know, Liberty and all states and. Yeah. Oh, they they they're all out there with their ads, and we're yeah. you know get our you know, supplemental and whatever. But you know, I mean, what I find is disgusting. Okay, is that for instance, I pay out of my social security about two hundred dollars a month for Medicare. All right, right. That, that's for starters. Then I have to have it only takes care of eighty percent. All right, so I've got to get somebody to take care of the other twenty percent. The supplemental. Yeah, and you, you don't want to get the advantage because the advantage really wipes out your Medicare and then they take over and then they get paid by the government for administering your account. So they like that. But then they have the supplemental and that's basically very cheap, okay? Then there's the supplemental. The supplemental is simply what it says. It's a supplement to the 80% and takes care of all the rest. But that costs, so that's costing us 320 bucks a month. Luckily, Marjorie's company is paying for it. For, for your supplemental? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But for the time being, as long as she's working there. Uh, but when you think about it, if I were paying it all out of, out of pocket, I'm paying $500 a month to take care of the 20% that the government doesn't take care of. What kind of deal is that? You know? Everything should be taken care of. Poor little Will. Let's do a telethon here. Poor little Will lying in his bed. Look at him. Isn't he pathetic? Give me a pathetic look. There. Isn't he pathetic? You know what we got to do? We have to do away with that 20% that the government doesn't pay so that he can get his, his health back where it should be. Look more pathetic. Look more pathetic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that, oh, that good. Good. Great pathetic look. Yeah. Okay, you can stop looking pathetic. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Tell them how they can contribute to my GoFundMe account. Oh, t t tell them about that because you've raised a lot of money. Yeah. There are a lot of people out there who love Will Durst. Yeah. They don't uh, know you like I know you, but they love you. <laughs> and you have this they, GoFundMe. You have this GoFundMe for Will Durst. How much yeah. have you raised to date on that? I don't know. Debbie's keeping track of it. I see. Seem to think it's somewhere around two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, but there's only we've already spent a hundred thousand. Yeah, well, I, I I could imagine, you know. I mean, the rent on my board and care is seven grand a month. Oh, Jesus Christ! And I've been here twelve months. And the government doesn't take care of it. The, the your no Medicare doesn't take care of it. No. How about the and, how about the and, yeah yeah and. I got a stair lift in my house. Yeah. Well, you see, the, 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 the supplemental won't take care of that. If Medicare doesn't approve it, then they don't take care of it. See? So, I mean, but why won't they Why won't they approve it? I mean, you're lying there in a hospital. You can't go anywhere, or at least a nursing home. or What's it called? Health care facility? What is it? A board and care. Board and care. So you're lying there bored and you don't care, right? That's pretty much it. Yeah, bored and care, and that's costing $7,000 a month. Now, what if you can't come up with the 7000 a month? Do they just dump you on the street? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. So it's nice that they're caring for you, but, you know, it has its limitations. Yeah, the caregivers are all Filipino. <laughs> they usually are in those places. And my mother was in was in the Jewish Home for the Aged, which is I think you were in at one point. You yeah, were, the food there is awful. Really, it used to be wonderful. It was the most wonderful facility in the city. Uh, really? Oh yeah. My mother was there for 
God, maybe two, three years, and they took good care of her when we ran out of money, when she ran out of money, because we had to deplete all her savings, about $30,000, but at uh, seven, $8,000 a month, when all that money was gone, they don't throw anybody out. They just get f the people who, you know, contribute to take care of it. So they took Wealthy care of Jews. it. What? Wealthy Jews. Wealthy Jews. But it worked out pretty well, you know? It really did. Um, and they, uh, I remember going there and they were just doing a wonderful job with her. For instance, she had, she was, she was of the age, she hit 100, okay? So when I had her in there, she was like 93, 94. And she had one hair growing out of her chin it was almost going down, way down. It was, it was big. First thing they did when she got there is they pulled it out. You know, they wanted to clean her up, right? And uh, she, she, you know, she looked good. They took good care of her, and I appreciated that. By the way, those two eyes you're seeing are those of Will Durst, if you've just joined us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your eyebrows, it's too bad you're not back on stage because your eyebrows are getting to look like, you know, like, like people we're used to who are intelligent, who have eyebrows, like Mark Twain. Well, look at that. So what's that bump? What's that dark spot on your head? I think it's a mole or some. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Well, this thing? well, that's the ceiling. We now are looking at the ceiling. Okay. Mm. See, but it's a mole. You mean this thing? Yeah, is that new? No. No? Oh, okay. All right. It's more pronounced. Yeah, I just want you well so you can come back to New York and we can have some good times having dinner and talking and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. See some plays? Yeah. But, you know, I, I, just, I just hope they get you going. You know, we have a guy who calls his show, his name is Jeff, and he had a stroke several years ago. And, you know, he's still affected by it, but he he's pretty much been mended. There are certain things. He says he can't read. He has total inability to read. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, but uh, but he's, he's I always am very proud of him. I'm, he's become a good friend. Well, they got a guy in here. Yeah. Who's Let's had see. Had if... a stroke, had a stroke 35 years ago. No. And he's still in a wheelchair. Oh, jeez. Well, that certainly makes you feel good, doesn't it? <laughs> Look pathetic again so they can go to the GoFundMe. Ladies and gentlemen, you show the whole face. Whole face. Whole face. Whole face. No, more, more, more. There we go. Look at that pathetic stroke victim. And he needs your money. And you have to go to the GoFundMe. And, and just put in as much money as you possibly can. What was the yeah. largest donation you got? Do you know? I think a grand. I, I think I saw a thousand. Yeah. And it was some comedian. We got money from Judd Apatow. Really? Yeah. Did you expect it? No, I don't know Judd Apatow. Really? And he saw I don't, it? And I don't I don't remember ever meeting him. You know something? He's very sensitive to comedians because he kind of did stand up, I think, for a short time in his life, and he has a you know he has a sensitivity towards that, and he's got the bucks, so why not do it? You know? Yeah. Well, I appreciate. Oh, it. thank you, thank you, Judd Apatow. Uh, but yeah. but I I'm trying to remember. I saw one other that was like a thousand, and it was I can't remember who it was. I, I just wish I were at a time in my life where I had a lot of money and I could send you a lot. I, I think I've made two donations so far. Yeah, I think you made two five hundred. No, I didn't make a five hundred. No, I can't afford oh. that. You know, oh, okay. but I think I think I made hundreds, two two one hundreds. Uh, Appreciate it. But listen, folks, if you send ten bucks, that's a good deal. You know, that's yeah. a terrific. Hey, you know what we're doing here? I just realized it. We're doing a telethon. Well, that's what you said in the beginning. Yeah, we're doing a telethon. Uh, so everybody, go to GoFundMe right now. Go to GoFundMe. Look up what? Just type in Will Durst. Yeah. And then uh, 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 look for his forehead. And then 
<laughs> then, then uh, take out your wallet. You, you, you just make like a donation of ten bucks or whatever. And take your wallet, yeah. Also, I think they ask you if you want to add another couple of bucks to uh, take care of the cost of GoFundMe. Do yeah, that. Sell, sell do, all the stocks in your portfolio. Yeah, yeah. Unload, yeah. Unload all the stocks in your portfolio. Yeah. But uh, no, it's it, it. You know, I did that before Y two K. Did you really? Before Y two K. Were yeah. you worried about it? Yeah. Really. Yeah. How do you feel now? Well, I had bought Apple at eight. Yeah. And then sold it, so I feel like an idiot. Oh, you bought it at eight, but what did you yeah. sell it at? I don't know. I think it was ten or twelve. Really? What is it now? Uh, a couple a hundred at least. Oh yeah, at least. But it's also split seven times, four times, two times, two times. Yeah. Two yeah. times, three times. When did you buy Apple? When it was down and out. Yeah, well, you know, when I was eight. So that was a period of time where like, they were in trouble financially. Like after the first uh, dot-com bust. Right. So uh, was this... Was pre-2000. Was it pre-Steve Was it pre -Steve Jobs coming back? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you, you know, today that would have been worth a lot. You know. I could. You wouldn't have to do a GoFundMe if you still had that stock. How many shares did you have? Oh, uh, I think a thousand. A thousand shares. Uh, let me see here. Apple stock. Let me look it up here. I can find out in a second. Apple stock. Uh, Apple Incorporated. Real-time stock quotes. Uh, Mary Trade. I don't want that. I don't want that. Here it is. The current Apple stock. Uh, Price, you ready? $161.84. And now that may have split and done other things where you would have made money, but if that eight were just the thousand shares were today, that would be. Uh, 161,000. Huh? 161,000. 161,000, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be worth 161,000. Here's the one that I that always bothered and you can me. You retire on that. Here's something that bothered me when I was at Apple. Uh, when I was at Sirius XM, they got to a point where they just bottomed out on their stock. They were almost going out of business. Okay, and the stock. Yeah, they were like fourteen cents no, a share. No, they were five cents a share. Five cents. A now share. they're not a big stock right now. They're up around six bucks. But if I had bought and I could have afforded ten thousand dollars in shares at five cents a share. Today I'd be a multimillionaire, you know. So I uh, another one of my mistakes in life. Yeah, yeah, that's twenty shares for a buck. Yeah, yeah. So if you had ten thousand dollars, yeah, ten thousand times twenty. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, uh, ten thousand times twenty. I don't know. It's two hundred thousand shares, something like that. Uh, okay. I'd be pretty. I'd be doing okay. You know, at six or seven, yeah. whatever they're at. Yeah. Let's see your uh, full face again. I have to keep reminding you. Can you see Sorry. your face in the in the camera? I can. Yeah. So okay. look at it, then frame it, so that you know. I know it's difficult because you probably have to do it with one hand, and you're probably raising it right. The other. Well, how's how's the hand doing? The bad hand. The bad hand. Yeah. 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 Can, can you make Bad a hand. can you make a fist? Let's see. Can you make a fist? I should be there doing your physical therapy. Yeah, you should be getting money from Medicare. Yeah. So, well, okay. We're gonna start a GoFundMe for me. I, I, you know, <laughs> I, I I I don't. Uh, of course, I, I I don't need it. I just got a windfall here. Um, but I won't talk about exactly what it was. But, you know, we've been in court with my apartment. You know that story, yeah. right? Yeah. So we finally settled with this guy, give him $75,000 to go away and let us have the apartment. Meanwhile, he had to continue with his case. I can't even see you now. Your forehead is there. Okay. Uh, 
and uh, the trial went on and then it was between he and the landlord and it was said that we were going to pay so much money but that was based on uh, uh, the premise that the end of that case would determine what the actual price of the apartment was you got me yeah so he the judge finally made a determination just savaged the landlord said he was incredible Blah 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 blah. He awarded this guy uh, two hundred and three thousand dollars. The guy we're also paying seventy five to. So he came out okay, but we came out okay because we got the apartment right, and our rent was going to be two thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars. Not bad for what we've got here, you know. The judge stated that the price had to be rolled back to its two thousand uh, to its two thousand four price. I won't tell you what it is. Is that when you first moved in? No, not when we first moved in. When when uh, the guy who leased this place and then leased it to us moved in. Okay? Ah. And the rent on this apartment at that time was $500.04. Four cents? Four cents? Yeah. The judge rolled it back to that price. Four cents? Five hundred bucks and four cents? Yeah, four cents. I don't know why the four cents. Uh, it may not hold. It may have to be a different work, uh, how they figure it out. But the price of this apartment back in 2004 and the established price by the... It ain't G- bad for 4,000 square feet in New York. Well, in, uh, for 2,500 2, square feet. We Is will. That uh, yeah. If, if that were to hold... This apartment, Seems- we would have to pay five hundred dollars a month in rent. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You know, uh, but yeah, it'll probably be, it'll probably be more than that, but not vastly more than much. that. Yeah, yeah, it'll be up around the eight hundreds, nine hundreds. But I mean, it's it it. I mean, I I can talk about it because it's a court case that's you know that's on record now, which you could probably, if you're a lawyer, you can go online and look at the judge's determination. So Hell, I'm anybody not, can. So I'm not telling tales out of school here. And knock on wood, we'll be paying anywhere between about five hundred and eight hundred dollars a month for this apartment. Congratulations! The, well, isn't that great? You know, and we didn't expect that as an outcome. We were happy with the outcome as it was. You know, but uh, this was the first real nice thing that's happened in this situation for us. But anyway. So, uh, uh, have you been practicing your comedy? No. Have been doing any skits and sketches? No skits, no sketches. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. I am. What I want to do is I want to do one commentary a day, a video commentary. Yeah. And put it up on Facebook and... Yeah, well, you got first of all. Yeah, I, mean, I could help you. With, I could help you with that. I mean, we could. Instagram, yeah, Instagram. I I I don't do Instagram, but I do. You know, I do have. Uh, I, I, I this, for instance, will go up on YouTube. It will go out live when I do the program. Uh, so you know, and plus, it's it's a telethon for Will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once again, it's it's for Will. Give me, give me, give me the look. Give me the. There we go. You know, you can you can send money to this guy, or you can let him continue to be in a vegetative state. Look like you're in a vegetative state. Uh, so, uh, please, yeah, everybody, don't donate right now to Will Durst at GoFundMe. Green beans. What? The chef. The chef here. Yeah. You he must have bought a 55 gallon drum of green beans. Really? It's always green beans, huh? A lot of green beans. Yeah. Is the food... And yeah. almost every dessert has roasted apples there. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. No, no. I like roast, Or I did like roasted apples. How was the food at that place? Baked apples. Food is pretty good. Really? Really? Where are you? What's the name of the, the facility? It's called The Villages at uh, Hayes Valley. And that's in San Francisco, right? Yeah, that's right on. I'm right on Laguna. Oh, okay. Between, 
between Grove and Hayes. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where all that is. I lived there all my life, and then now I got to remember where these things are. You know, the other day I was trying to remember the name Lombard Street. Yeah. Which part? Well, there the, are several the part? parts. There's the, the curly road going down. Yeah, that's the thousand block. That's the thousand block. Then you go down the other side, and you go down across the, the edge of the marina, and you wind up at the Golden Gate Bridge. So... That's Lombard right. Street in San Francisco. Right. And if you go the other way, you end up in North Beach. Really? Hey, you know, I just looked, and we've run out of time. Oh, no. Yes. See how time oh, flies? Uh, well, that's another 24 hours, uh, 24 minutes that you've been lying in bed. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, stick around after we're finished here. Uh, uh, give me the, just frame your face perfectly, okay, and give me the most pathetic look you can give me. Okay, you, you've, been, you've been very good at. Oh, oh, good, oh, good. Okay, we're getting, we're getting the full Monty. Wait a minute, we just got your eye. You gotta look pathetic. Here we go down there. there that's you. just my normal look. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's Will Durst. GoFundMe.com. Look up Will Durst. Send yeah, yeah. your dimes, yeah, yeah. your dollars. Like the March of Dimes. If if a million of you out there all send a dime. It's $100,000. It's $100,000. And so I'm asking you to do that now. It's, for this. it's the holiday season. It's a, it's a time for giving. It's a time for giving. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. That's my old friend and the guy I think of in a very nice way who uh, is named Will Durst. Thank you, Will. Thanks for having me, Alex Bennett. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, why are we out of sync? See, it always happens. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up on trying to be in sync, okay? All right, anyway. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we're, um, uh, we're ready to go here, aren't we? Okay. Let me, let me go over to the, uh, let, me, let me move to the uh, panel here, the Zoom panel, because then I will be more in sync if we do that. See, here I'm out of sync. And now I do this and I'm in sync, I guess. Yeah, yeah, more than I'm not in sync. Anyway, hey, there are a lot of people want to come on right now. Let's see if they're, uh, they're ready to go here. Hold on, admit all, here we go. There we are, there we go. Hello, hey, everybody. Wow, what a bunch of people we got here. We got Jeff and we got Alan and we got Chip. And we've got uh, the lovely Brian Neary, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. How are you? I heard all? there's a new rule. We're not allowed to eat on the show or something. <laughs> We're not allowed to eat on the show? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's Alan. Oh, it's Alan not allowed to eat. It, it's not Kick on the Jew. It's okay. No, because you're eating, you're eating healthy foods. Which uh, uh, are, uh, uh, are are helping you lose weight, right? Maintain. Maintain. <laughs> okay, maintain. Hello, Chip. How you doing? Oh, doing all right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Chip, where are you calling us from again? I, you know, my memory's bad North, these days. North Idaho, where it's snowing. North North Idaho, where it's snowing. I think it was. We had some flurries today, but I didn't look out the window, so I have no idea. You know, so. But anyway, you know, one day I'm going to solve this problem. I, I don't have it when we're doing the show right like this with the Zoom. But what, what happened? Who did we lose? Jeff. We, we, who? Oh, we lost Jeff. 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 Okay. Anyway, um, um, it, 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 you know, just a little bit of my, uh, uh, of this, this, I'm trying to figure out why it goes out of sync and what I can do to prevent it. Apparently, it has something to do with the Zoom and the other. Ca I have two cameras I use. One camera, which is, let me show people, is, is this camera, okay? Uh, 
Let me see here. Let me just do this. Okay, this is the other camera, and it's out of sync. Okay? But when I go to the uh, camera that I use for Zoom, it's in sync. Right? So go you think the, uh, the uh, okay. firmware is up to date? Yeah, all the firmware is up to date. You know, I'm, I have no problem with the firmware. You know, I don't know. You know what I did today? I, I get up this morning and I come over to the computer that does our show, you know, puts our show out there to the folks 24-7. Uh, and um, it was completely not working. And then it froze and then I tried to start it up and it took about a half hour for it to start up and I, I don't know what the problem was. So I decided, well, I guess I better put out the bucks and I bought another Mac Mini. Now I own two, two of the M1 Mac Minis. And I installed it today, got all the parts in there working just fine. And it's a great little machine. And <clears throat> it boots up like that. Like $800? No, uh, $557, $567. Oh. You got the one with the smaller drive and smaller memory, right? That's right. But I got it. You see, I got it for the uh, for the other room just to see how they work, okay? And I found that it works like a machine that's got much more memory in it. Uh, it, it somehow that M1 chip just makes it just fire up. So, yep. you know. That's and I mean, I, I'd go get one of the bigger ones, but I don't need it. I've got a good computer right here. But I'm sorry if I didn't go get the more expensive one, Alan. Uh, Doesn't matter to me. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. No, it works. I mean, so I mean, and this thing only has to serve out the programming. But boy, it's 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 got so much power in it. I'm thinking Marjorie has a a, a, a Mac Mini she's using that I bought from Phil. That, that died. That died, and then I had it fixed again. Could have bought a new Mac Mini for what you paid Phil and the repairs. Uh, no, no, not that one. That one was like a fifteen hundred, two thousand oh. dollar Mac Mini. Uh, but the Mac Mini now has so much power; it's amazing. I mean, it, it with just as little um, um, a power under the hood that it has. So I think that M1 chip is real powerful. Oh, it's whatever. it's a it blazes. I mean. I, where before I used to have to just wait for everything to happen on the Mac Mini. I mean, it was like it was a behemoth. And uh, this thing just cruises, just works beautifully. So, you know what I didn't do tonight? Did you notice anything? Is there anything wrong here? You didn't your light the on your face. There we go. There we go. I always forget something. I, I worked my ass off today getting this whole thing together so that it would work and serve out the programming so it'd be in time for Jack to break it in, you know, so. Uh, oh, here comes Kevin, all righty. There's a new GoPro, did you get that one yet? No, no, no. No, I just got the last GoPro and I think it's my last GoPro. I don't use yeah. it that much, because I find that if I want to take video, I shoot it with my uh, with my iPhone, Yeah. you know. Um, mm -hmm. And it doesn't present anything that much more than the uh, than the than the GoPro does. I mean, Definitely. than the uh, phone does, the iPhone. Does. GoPro, you, you can hang it and strap it and all kinds of things a lot better than you can an iPhone, I think. Yeah, uh, of well, course. Yeah, well, yes. That, that's what I like doing it for. Yeah, but I'm yeah, I, and I admit that I use it for all my sporting events uh, that I do. All my skiing and swimming and stuff like that. So it's we really. We see grow, 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 grow. I, I put mine on my car now. Right. I don't know why yeah. is it, Alan, that you're always the naysayer in anything. When I say I would rather, I have the the GoPro, but I'd rather use my iPhone. You go, well, the iPhone isn't that good because you can't strap it to your dick. I have an <laughs> iPhone right here. I love them. Yeah. I'm just saying that the GoPro, there's advantages to mounting and where you can do it. It wasn't no, a no, nice If thing. you really want to go all out, do something else completely, you know. If I don't even wanna, own a if, GoPro. If you want to go all out on the iPhone, you can get yourself like a selfie stick and a whole bunch of equipment that will make it 
suitable for shooting really good uh, heavy stuff. Plus, you know what the GoPro you can't do? You can't no. zoom in. You probably can't make phone calls on it either. No. Who makes phone mm -hmm. calls on your camera anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so I'm I'm uh, I can't figure out what this lag is. I've 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 put the cameras sometimes on two different circuits and they still bog each other down. <clears throat> uh, maybe I need it. Maybe I need to use another camera. I, I think the only person that bothers is you. Well, I guess I'm the only one that bothers. Well, I want this to be perfect, right? Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Get another Emmy. Huh? To get another Emmy. To get another Emmy, yeah. Right. Listen, I'm just trying to survive physically. I mean, I today, I, you know, I, it's funny. Uh, is it just me or is it everybody that if I don't do something within, say, six months a year, I can't remember how to do it? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, in setting up a whole these two computers, which I just got, I had to go back online and find out how to do everything. Huh. Stuff that I took for granted, you know. And uh, it's, uh, but I, but I, but I, but I did it, you know. I, I'm very proud of myself. Hmm. What is all that noise? What are you doing, Kevin? I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, I was know. loading my uh, stapler. Uh, no, I know. I'll put it on mute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I love the way Jeff reacted to that. I know, knew it was you. <laughs> and that's who I was talking to. He goes, it's not me. Right. <laughs> it's usually you, Jeff. <laughs> that's all. I'm already, already. I'm usually on mute, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't come through. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. I know. What are you stapling? Nothing. I was just putting the, my last two little strips into the electronic stapler there. Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. It, it's it's it exciting, happens. isn't it? What, Can you, you attach a GoPro to your stapler? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, so I, otherwise, I have nothing exciting that's happened to me today. You know. Everyone's been sick in my family. <clears throat> Everyone? Oh. Yeah, Adrian had a, a Thursday to Friday, so Friday in the early, early morning, she started throwing up. So she stayed home, and all the and the, the school's actually really good because they wanted a COVID test for the you know they they require COVID test even just from vomiting. So it's one of the symptoms. So tried to mm -hmm. take her that day to go get COVID test. She came back negative. We sort of knew that just because it's just her stomach. <clears throat> yeah. And then Saturday night, we went to Tiffany's mom's, had some uh, some food, and then I we came back and I threw up all night. <laughs> and then Sunday night, I left to go to Lodi for a couple days uh, and for work. And Tiffany got sick. She didn't throw up, but she was really sick, really nauseous. And then yesterday, I had to take Stephanie out of school because she was nauseous and a headache. So I had to have her a COVID test. And then Simon was last night and had to have a COVID test for him today. Mm. Boy, everybody's getting swapped. Everybody's negative, Every right? Adrian wiped us all out. I mean, yeah, yeah uh, the, I get the other two tests tonight. Uh, actually, uh, Stephanie's didn't have enough uh, sample, mm. but so she had to retake it. But they they've been passed out and a little feverish. But yeah, so they're 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 just it's just like a stomach flu going around, nothing big, but. Mm. But I think I got the worst of it because we just went to, we just went to her mom's house and I had a huge bowl of soup with all these vegetables and they do like a vegetarian with all these different kind of tofu's. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but if I if I eat a meal and throw up, I cannot stand the smell of that meal anymore. Hmm. So that special soup thing, I know I can never have anymore at her her mom's. Hmm. House. Really. I just now, yeah, because well, I, I, I know, I know what you're it, saying. I think of it and I want to throw up. Do you I consider know. yourself lucky? For this one, yeah. <laughs> it's a veggie when, when thing. I, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, my parents, uh, my parents uh, used to go to a Chinese restaurant in, obviously, Chinatown. And um, I remember the name of it, Hang Far Low, which I always <laughs> thought was a very funny name. 
Mm-hmm. But anyway, we went there, and they would always order up bean cakes. Mm. And I mm-hmm. love bean cakes. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I guess if your parents eat them and then you eat them, you get used to them and it becomes a comfort food. And I love bean cakes. Well, years later, everybody starts talking about this thing called tofu. And I'm going, what the hell is tofu? Turns out it was bean cakes. <laughs> Only they suddenly came out with a vegetarian name for it, you know? But I love tofu. Mm. Yeah, same here. I love tofu. Anything you like that most people would vomit watching you eat? No, but, you know, Asian, they have the balut, which is the 15-day-old egg, you know, and mm-hmm. they cut that open, and they you can see the... Yeah, the beak and everything. That's, yeah. I oh. think smell that stuff. Those I can't gross. smell that. It's so terrible. They're really are that bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I uh, there are things I really like that, and and it, it it's comfort food because your mother made it, you know, and mm-hmm. the family ate it, and so therefore you ate it, right? And you grew up e- eating it, and it reminds you of good times. Uh, and mine is tripe. Mm-hmm. I love tripe. Oh. I crave tripe. I ooh and ah over tripe. I even make tripe. Of course, I can't make it for Marjorie because she won't eat it. Now, in case people don't know what tripe is, it's the cow's innards, the innards of the cow's stomach. But, I mean, if you do it right, it's delicious. Uh, Jeff, you just had a reaction. Never before. ate it. Oh, you never ate it. Anybody else here ever eat tripe? No. It, it, anybody here ever eat menudo? Because that's the same thing. Yeah, my friend, my friends do, and I don't eat it when I go there. But they, yeah, they spend like all day with all those different, different meats and everything. Yeah, well, what what you do is you cut it up in little slices, <clears> and then you throw it into what is a. Uh, 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 well, first you boil it, mm. and then you throw it into a kind of a. Uh, how could we call it? tomato stock? But it's not like thick tomato stock. It's more like a soup. And uh, mm-hmm. you cook it in there, and uh, you cook it for about three hours or something like that. I can't remember now what the recipe was. Mm-hmm. And it's it's delicious. I love it. Anybody else have a food that we would all get disgusted to hear that you like? Cow's tongue. Boiled cow's tongue. I love tongue. cow's tongue. My mother made tongue all the time. Yeah, my that's mother a, did too. I can't stand it. You can't stand it's it. It's almost like roast beef. Huh? Yeah. But. Yeah, it tastes like roast beef. It it is mm-hmm. uh um I always like the front part of the tongue, like the tip and the front part <laughs> of the, the tongue. That Just part the in the the part in the I, back I, are made me. Are we still me... talking about cow's tongue here, Alex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the the part in the back used to make me a little, you know, <laughs> out of it. Is that the part that goes up the cow's nose? No. Yeah, the tip. Oh, the tip. The tip. Well, no, the tip is yeah. the tip of the tongue. Yeah, and it goes up the cow's nose when they stand there and oh, pick I, their nose. Oh, I see. Their... Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, off. now you've ruined tongue for me. They lick their butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say you didn't like tongue, though, uh, Al? No, I don't. Oh, well, that I... a lot as a child. Uh, uh, did your mother make it a lot? Yeah. Yeah, my mother made it all the time. It was a big deal. I remember having it. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, but you know. Uh, yeah. um, let me see here. Unless your mother's there, you really don't want to eat that kind of stuff. Chip, any any kind of food that you like that or I, that you've I, had that would disgust us? Not really. I was never big into testing the food outside realms of food, so I don't really eat anything weird like that. They don't do that up in the Dakotas, huh? Well, I've only lived here about 16 years. I'm originally from California. Oh, okay. That's, that, well, then you should have eaten heard. some horribly... Did the Let's Dakotas see. Deer, elk. Elk. Oh. deer, elk, uh, bear. See, uh, I don't like deer. Venison makes me vomit. Oh, I love Bambi. They have to they have to cook it right. If you cook it wrong, it tastes too gamey, but if you cook it right, it's very good. See, I don't want it gamey. I'll tell you, I, I, I've told this story before, and it's true. I uh, One night... My parents had this friend who was a hunter, and he went out hunting. And he came back to our house in North Beach uh, with some ducks. So I'd never had duck. You know, I, at that age, I was willing to eat anything. Okay, don't start with me, Alan. I, uh, w- 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 
<laughs> would eat anything that you put in front of me. Okay, so he, like my mother cooks up the ducks, and uh, puts them on the plate, you know, for us to dole out, and we're starting to eat it. And the guy says, "Oh, by the way, just a warning: watch out for the bullet." <laughs> yeah, the shot. Yeah, yeah the shot right. from the shotgun. Yeah. I couldn't eat. That was it. I've never eaten duck since. Yeah, maybe I've eaten duck. Well, this was wild duck, you know. But I, I'm I, basically I can't even eat duck at a Chinese restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, they just strangle them there. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, uh, they um, do they. Is that how they well, kill them? Either that or they chop their heads off live. Right, right. I went but to... Generally, you see them hanging by their heads. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see that great thing? Remember Sarah Palin when she was running for president and she went and she did a, uh, a, a you know, meet and greet somewhere and it was a chicken poultry place and right in back of her while she's talking to everybody is somebody throwing a chicken into a place where they get their head cut off. I, I think that was... <laughs> I think she was near home or something it was in alaska yeah that might have been turkeys and she was doing a thing and said we're gonna we're gonna pardon this turkey and in the back they got turkeys getting executed (laughs) (laughs) yeah i used to deliver to foster farms out there in uh, turlock oh really yeah you drive right up there and they're on a conveyor belt hanging Mm. going into the building yeah they come out plucked and ready to go really were they alive going in Oh yeah, right off the truck. Oh boy, I don't know. Now, now you put me off of turkey. They, they, got, they, they do. <laughs> Those chickens. You can, oh, chicken, chicken, a dozen. You can see it on YouTube. They rather use carbon monoxide to to kill them pretty quickly, or they do an electric shock to kill them. I was watching a Foster Farms video on YouTube. Well, they, they, but cows, they, uh, cows, they kill by uh, stunning them in the brain, right? Well, they shoot them in the brain with a with a rifle. No, basically. not with a rifle. It's it's a stun gun. It's a, like a just a shock. A, a chip. You you look like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was that movie No Country for Old Men. Yeah, uh, he had one. That's of those. what he it, it, a little uh, thing would pop out of the thing under pressure. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I, they kill. I, I, I've watched cows in a field, and the the butcher come in with all his equipment onto somebody a friend of mine's property, and he shoots them in the head. And the other ones, see this one, hear the gunshot, see this one fall down, and they're all standing around, not scattering. They're just continuing to eat. They're a dumb animal. Well, listen, yeah, they are the dumbest well, the animals. private ones, yeah, they'll do that. They are the dumbest animals ever, anywhere. Uh, I remember once uh, I went out to the uh, out to the backwoods of Marin, and there were a lot of cow farms out there. They're these like Scottish cows or something that look like they're all wearing toupees. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you got this little fluff of hair up here. It looks like they just went out and bought a bad toupee and put it on, you know. And they're all standing out there in the field, and some of them are sitting on the ground, and others are standing up over those other ones and peeing on them. And the one <laughs> who's being peed on is just going, Duh, hey, okay. Out. Cows into water sports, huh? Yeah, cows into water sports. Golden uh, showers. Tip them over. Oh, it's amazing. But uh, uh, is anything you like eating, uh, Brian, that, uh, that would make uh, everybody here? His mother-in-law's soup was off the record now. Yeah. Kevin or me? Well, no, you were talking about Brian's yeah. the soup. Well, I'm talking about I'm t- I'm t- Kevin, if he oh, had. Oh, sorry. I thought he said Brian. Yeah, I don't eat nothing that's weird. You don't eat nothing that's weird. Nah. Oh, okay. All right. My, my mother in law eats head cheese and makes me sick. All right. You want to know? Okay. You ready for this, everybody? Oh, I got another one. But th- my father used to love to do this. There were two things he loved, and in combination with each other, one was blood sausage. Mm. which, as you all know, is, in fact, blood, all right, and buttermilk. (laughs) And one morning, I came down, down, we lived in an apartment at the time, I came, uh, went to the apartment and uh, into the dining room, or the kitchen, and my father's sitting at the kitchen table with a glass of buttermilk in one hand 
No. Anyway. And the blood sausage on the plate. And he's eating the blood sausage and drinking the buttermilk, which is then turning red from the... <laughs> <laughs> like <Moussaratu. laughs> yeah, from the uh, from, like from the blood liver. sausage. Oh, that's yeah, gross. Uh, and and it was pretty gross. It was pre because I the two things I could not stand were blood sausage and buttermilk. <laughs> Anybody like buttermilk here? No, no. Okay. I've never had it. Well, it sounds like it would be good. Buttermilk. It does sound oh good. wow, yeah, that sounds like, good. You know, Tastes terrible. Which Amazon has that? Yeah, yeah. Hello, Tony. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Eh, so, so, eh. Huh? That good, so, huh? so. What do you mean, so, so? Well, I don't want to talk about me, Elish. Well, you know what it is? <laughs> of course you want to talk <laughs> about of course, me. I, mean, I don't want to monopolize the show and change tracks. I'm kind of like you, Alex. We know what happened. Two weeks ago, I went for a, for a blood test, right? Mm -hmm. So... I went on a Sunday. Yeah, I went on a Sunday. Yeah, because he had his nurse there. So I went in. Everything else was fine, my other physical. So I went in and they took my blood. So then it was like last Friday, right? I was working in the house, packing some books. Up. So they call. I said, oh, I don't know who's calling this number. So, you know when you get a number on the iPhone? It's not my brother. It's nobody I know. Well, Let me just pick it up, right? Yeah, you figure Hello? it's somebody's going to say your car's out of yeah, the lot. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Is this Tony Magno? I says, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, your blood work came back from Dr. Fernandez, John. I said, oh, okay. I said, do I have any antibodies? Oh, we forgot to check that. All right, <laughs> they forgot to check it. So that's great, right? Oh, she just wants me to say, right? He, what? You're a little low on vitamin D, so he wants you to take 5,000 milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I got vitamin D now, so mm -hmm. I'll take it again. Mm -hmm. And, oh, and your, what is that? The PSA level is a little above is a little elevated above normal. Normal would be 4 0, and I'm 4.78. It's like 0. 0.78 up. Oh, you're a dead said, man. Okay, you're a dead man. You're I'm a dead Googling, I'm Googling you, Alex, already. You're, I'm gonna you're die. a dead I'm man, Tony. Totally. You're grave, an absolute right? dead No, don't worry. Says, oh, yeah. You have to see a urologist. Says, I only saw a regular doctor. I don't have a urologist. <laughs> oh, no. You'll <laughs> love the urologist. They, they love, they're the worst doctors. I was ready to call The only I thing is, up. I found a great urologist. He's a great guy. Give me a call. I'll give you his name. He's here in Manhattan. He's very good. Well, I got good. a guy already. So I'm going I've to. gone through. Wait a minute. I've gone through Sorry. ten urologists and hated every last one. I remember you talking about them. that. My life, my life is now Alex. And, and, the, the, and this, and this guy was to is terrific. He is. Can just, I ask you something, Alex? Yeah. So when she told me that, I says, "Well, the doctor will call you back." So I'm like. So what is point seven? Oh, you got nothing to be worried about. I says, uh, I hope not. I says, no, but this is just how you want you to follow up with a urologist. So Alex, what are they? Shecky even told me my sister's friend's a nurse and my brother's girlfriend is a nurse. Uh, yeah. friends. And she says, Tony, you got nothing to worry about. He says, anything can fluctuate. You're above normal by a little smidgen. That, that's nothing. Well, that's not a smidgen. Okay. That's not a smidgen. And that's not a smidgen, but don't get worried. Don't get worried. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. To begin I with, mean, what was the last PSA test? Did they? I don't know because I forgot it. Yeah, I had it last year, so they, I don't know. And they probably it. didn't even care because it didn't. <clears throat> yeah, they never told me. Yeah. So it could be you've had a bit of a spike. It could be caused by any number of things. So you take another one and see what happens in about three months, and they'll uh, and and hey, you know, if it's it, let's say at the worst, let uh, you have you have prostate cancer. Oh, God, don't say that. No. No, hold on. Let me finish. I'm worried already, yeah. Let me finish. You caught it so early. You, I'm you, scared, though, you, Alex. I'm just, I mean, I don't want to get anything. What's to be frightened of? I don't know. I hear that. I think, oh, forget it. But, well, I mean, you know, you take it a step at a time, okay? Yeah. Uh, and at my age, of course I got it because if you live long enough, most men get prostate cancer of one sort or another. You know, it's wreaked havoc. The op the stuff they did has wreaked havoc on my uh, on my ur urinary s system. I don't think Tony wants to hear that right but now. Yeah. Well, I mean, my doctor told me they not didn't to even, worry. They didn't even take out my prostate, by the way, folks. But they just should, I, should I listen to what he said? He says, don't worry yourself over it. Well, you're going to worry well, anyway. <laughs> I mean, so he didn't seem that concerned. You he was like, I was more concerned about your fatty cholesterol, which is, I don't have to take any medicine. But he says, you know, more than that. It's just, oh, all right. Yeah, I well, really... I mean, I think that uh, any time you see a spike in a PSA, see, PSA tests have always been in great question. 
as to their how how uh, how good they are in predicting right. prostate cancer. What if all it necessary. says is is that there's something going on that could be prostate cancer. But you could have a high PSA because you may have an infection down there. Or yeah, that's what they said too. Like, I mean, I was a little under the weather a few weeks, like a month ago. I felt like I had a cold. So who knows? Well, you no, know, but I mean, there are any number of things that can cause it, uh, and that's why they say, okay, we'll do another one in three months because it's very, in most cases, non-aggressive, slow growing. And they, but he told me I'm going to 20th, Alex, to the uh, urologist. The urologist. Okay, we'll go to him. You know, I got to go to what mine you, next month. Do you think it is? So you, so you wouldn't, I mean, I'm not going to get sick over it. I was just worried about it. And I was like, oh God, I can't believe this. Look, if, let's say the worst happens. You've got it. Oh God. Well, wait, hold on a second. She's coming for me, my mother, Alex. I have a feeling she's <laughs> following me. Come on already, man. You're not even going to yet. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Tony? I'm trying. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's say, let's, let's just assume the worst because that's what I do all the time. But just, you got, I'm not going to sleep tonight. That's what yeah. Uh, and, and the reason I do, because then there'll be no surprises. But let's say the it's the worst that can possibly happen is you've got prostate cancer. It's mm. early in the game. They can take care of it. They can take care of it usually with radiation. Sometimes they just take care, care of it with hormones. So don't even worry about it. I mean, uh, uh, they've caught you. You've, you've caught this early enough in the game that if it is anything. Which I, you know, very I, treatable. It's very treatable. Yeah. So it's just saying, don't even worry yourself sick, though. He told me, don't worry about it. Have two or three Listen, beers. Says, no really matter, drink, no, no matter what he says or I say, you're going to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. I had Alex. I told my brother, I'm who, what I'm who leaving stuff to her. Right? And I told thing. him, I want he, nobody having lunch. Here's the thing. My about chief me. family having lunch on my grave. Really. Every I time I got a wart on my finger, I would say to people, does this look like <laughs> cancer to you? This I was like mad. You had to be mad. I couldn't sleep. I mean, I'm trying to stay Wait, rational. Jack keeps talking me off the ledge. What I was saying is that uh, I, I always was worried about I was going to get cancer. I was going to get cancer. And then when I finally got it, I went, okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm not I don't like know that. why I reacted that way, but it was just, okay, let's do something about it. And I went to the best uh, doctor here in town, the best radioactive guy or whatever. And yeah. he put me under. He gave me some. He gave me this uh, cyber knife, yeah. and then we went in mm -hmm. and we had uh, some seeds put in my prostate, radioactive seeds, and my. Uh, I don't even have a traceable PSA right now, or didn't. I don't know what the next test will show, but uh, I didn't. But you know. So, you, do you remember? So, so you're saying don't get yourself sick over it. Don't, don't get make... yourself sick because most of the things that they're going to do are, uh, for instance, if they do radioactivity. If they oh, you got me as cancer, Alex. I'm hoping no, really. Well, I'm assuming you do. Anyway, oh, on, no, don't, don't worry about it, Tony. Uh, take... So, Tony, some of the things that that yeah. uh, cause an elevated prost uh, uh, ant, uh, PSA is if you've had sex within the last couple of days. Uh, some vitamins, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's rule, you're talking to Tony. Let's rule that. Check out. that off the box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's rule that. Out. And 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 I'm like even Alex, wondering about the other thing that could do it, and that's masturbation. Right. I mean, and can Alex, I ask a question? Can I ask you a question? Did you masturbate the day before the test? No, I didn't. Well, okay, <laughs> well then, you know. The boxes, the multiple choice questions are okay. getting narrower and narrower. <laughs> I, I, I was like, you know, Tony, I, what how Alex much was, time do I have? Can we just get to the chase? What Alex was getting around to is not to worry now. And a few Brought months from up, now, buddy. if you get another PSA test and it's higher, then they're going to look into what's causing it. It, 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 it. Like Alex said, it's not always <laughs> answer. Yeah. But, what you, but I, okay. I'm going in the 20th. I'm guessing Alex, he's going to draw my blood again. No, I mean, if we just no. sit there and have a conversation, I'm going to be like, well, what's going me, on? I don't want, I don't want you to please. I'm worried don't, now. Don't get, don't get worried. It's doable. It's fixable. Yeah. But I'm hoping it's not. But though. I would, the part I worried about was the biopsy. Anybody oh, don't say that. Alex. I'm gonna, I'm not, I, can't, I can't do any I couldn't take a I had a biopsy and I thought it was going to be just anguishingly painful. Oh God! And it was it wasn't anything. That. It wasn't oh. anything. And by the way, that saved my life because that's where they found that I had just a very sm a small smidgen of cancer. 
Do you remember what your PSA level was? I'm just going to ask you that. It had gone up to like 6.7, and then it went down to 4.8 or 4.5, something like that. And then uh, they gave me... My doctor did a test. Uh, he did some extra work on the blood. Uh, it's a new test they have that can predict the chances that you have you know, some prostate cancer, however mm. minor. Uh, and it showed up, so he immediately did a biopsy, and the biopsy showed it, and then it was off to uh, Dr. S uh, Stock, who uh, uh, radiated the hell out of me, and then uh, stuck some staples in my, his seeds in my prostate, and you know, I was good to go. I went back, That's I had a PSA test uh, four or five months later, because it was during COVID, and uh, I had gone down to no detectable PSA which is really amazing, you know. Um, See, now I'm worried now. What do you worry? Mine's been, mine's been in the sixes for 10 years, Tony. And let's say... The really? One, yeah. Two biopsies, nothing. Really? Oh, I've, wow. been, I've, been, I've been a little over four for 10 years, so, you know, mm -hmm. no big deal. And they, did they do a biopsy or anything like that? To see? No. Yeah. But, but st you're still here, and you don't have... It hasn't gotten any worse, right, the... Right. So you see here, guys. So with, here are two guys with PSA tests that are high, and uh, they haven't got prostate cancer. So, you know, the mm -hmm. PSA first biopsy had me worried, but after that, it's just like he just keeps an eye on it, and as long as it doesn't go haywire, was you're the, fine. Was the biopsy simple for you too? Hell no. Really? A, a blood wasn't no simple way. for me. In the room. Really? Both of them were terrible. The worst thing I ever done. No, yeah. I didn't feel a thing. Yeah. Well. You. <laughs> Yeah, all I uh, he, yeah they all, were painful. All I felt was kind right. of a, a thing like a staple gun or something. Oh God, oh my! Yep. <laughs> all twelve times. <laughs> I'm never gonna make all this. twelve times. Yes, sir. They, but they, I they didn't. Stuck the needle in like ten times in ten different. Oh, I can't. I can't deal with it already. I can't take blood. <laughs> I, you know, oh, you don't. You don't see a thing, Tone. Yeah, you don't see anything. No, you don't see nothing. I couldn't it, take it, a needle it, for the blood. Let me put it this way: you can leave it all. You can leave it all behind you. Yep, they leave it all behind. <laughs> no, I, but my mother better say it forever. I better not have no, to. No, but do I this. was amazed, guys, about the uh, about the uh, uh, the biopsy. I didn't feel a thing. It must have numbed you up good. He yeah, numbed, really. He did a really good job. That's why I like this doctor. So you I can, think I would have rather been good. kicked in the balls than go through the biopsy again. The biopsy hurt like <laughs> hell. Yep. Did You're her, not making me feel. I wish it would have knocked me out. I walked yeah, out of it and I went. Her. That was easy. He said, I tried to do it the best I can. You know, he numbed me up really good, and he, you know. And you know what he told me, the doctor? Don't be so fatalistic. Well, it's easy for you. <laughs> so fatalistic. I'm not being fatalistic. I think I'm going to die. I mean, really. No, you're, look, don't, you're not going to die, okay? Yeah. I don't think. But he's but, laughing me on the phone like, have two beers. Are you for real? What am I paying this guy? What, what, what's the doctor tell you? You're not going to die. That's not true. You're going to die sometime. We all are. But well, He goes, know, I'm really not that concerned with it, but we're just going to yeah, follow up on it. Really? Yeah. Well, 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 anyway, how's the comic book business? Yeah, right. Soon it's getting, you know what? Soon they're going to sell them. I'll be gone. I'll have, all my, all these, I'll have thousands of books downstairs oh, on the phone. Shit. I asked you You'll to get on the my news dog. one day with all these books. I asked you to get your mind off it. What have you sold? Oh, I've been though? busy. I'm gonna have a going out of business sale. <laughs> oh, what have you sold lately, Tony? Oh, I just sold a book. Actually, I got to ship it out tomorrow. I just sold. What was it? This? I can tell you in a second. I sold a. Hold on. I was going to Chicago, Kentucky. Hold on. I'll tell you what I just sold. Hmm. Oh, I sold a. What did he buy? This? Oh, the guy bought. Oh. Human Torch. Uh, I can tell you right now, I didn't ship it out yet. Uh, Not a guy with waiting. prostatitis, right? Oh, sorry. The, uh, you, uh, Human Torch number seven. It's uh, from 19, I think, 73. It's a battle cover, Human Torch versus Submariner. So they're like battling on the cover. He paid me 175 bucks. And I, have, and I may have another book sold too. Guy didn't pay me yet. So I may have $400 going out tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah. Nice. You yeah. make a good I turned down a couple other offers, but if I'm going to drop dead, everything's going for sale. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was just starting to make money, and now here comes the big scene. <laughs> my life is a fucking thing. 
Well, think about, uh, think about it this way. Not uh, wait a minute, Tony. Think about it this yeah. way. Okay, I'm uh, going to be 82 in about a week and a half. Okay? Mm. Uh, life is, uh, as, as I think John Cleese once described it to me, the grave is ever yawning. Okay? And, uh, I, I, you know, I don't have that many good years left. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I have another 20 years. But then they're going to be terrible years because I'm going to be looking like Tony Bennett. You know, I mean, it, uh, it, it's just not... Better than William Shatner. Better than William Shatner, yeah. Uh, uh, but anyway, the point is that I, all that being true, that I'm not getting any younger and uh, the, the end days are approaching. Yeah. I get my rent lowered to five hundred dollars a month. I heard the other you know. Year. I mean, come on. Phil's well, paying twenty five hundred over there. I heard his comment. No, no, well, don't. I'll tell you something. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I, it's not over yet, because they're going to appeal this thing. And my lawyer says, well, you know, the twenty two thousand twenty five dollars a month that they were going to charge you in rent, take the difference between what you pay and that and put it away because they may win their case, may win their appeal, and then they'll be owed all that money, okay? So, um, so that's what we're, you know, what we're doing, you know, um, because we got to do that. But I mean, it's just like, you know, they, they send us this wonderful news about the judge saying $500 a month and then, but it's going to, they're going to appeal it, the landlords. And I'm going, oh, Jesus, here we go again. And then the lawyer sends me a note saying, and by the way, you know, I told you I wasn't going to charge you any longer, uh, and I was just going to charge you for my assistant. And I said, uh-huh. And he said, uh, he said in his note, he said, but I'm going to have to start charging you again because it's going to appeal. And I'm going, Jesus, does it never stop, you know? Am I going to have to spend my golden years in court? You know, this has been how many years now? Almost nine years? Yeah. Good thing you have deep pockets, huh? Oh, yeah, deep pockets. You know. It's lucky Marjorie could take out a loan on her apartment, on the apartment she owns. I mean, she's paid off most of it, but, uh, you know, she doesn't owe anything on the apartment. Uh, but... You know, she had a home equity loan, and we've been using that for lawyers' fees, and it it it's been terrible. I mean, I I God bless her. She you know she's been very good about this, uh, but uh, you know, so when you worry about that, you know, I could be out on the street, Tony. That's true. Yeah. Can can I rent a room at your place? You know what? The home up here is empty. Actually, I just threw my mother's bed out, but I got comic books in that room. No. <laughs> But I have one bed, but I'd have to, you'd have to bring, you'd have to bring sheets because it's funny what single guys do with their deceased mother's rooms. Uh, I turned it into a comic warehouse, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I kept the furniture though, the ones I didn't want to toss. She, Shecky put in a, uh, what do you call it? One of those things you run on. Uh, yeah, I saw that. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. told me that was your room potentially. If yeah, you that's, my room. that's my room. You know that's my room. once That's too big of a room for him. I want this room. He always <laughs> calls it my room. And I said, you know, you do know your mother died in that room. And and uh, to say it's now my room is kind of like tempting fate, isn't it? You know. Well, true. That is true. My mother wouldn't haunt you. Alex. She'd be like, this is the guy you talk to right now who has a foul mouth. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I'm trying to calm down, like you said. Maybe I'm putting more into my head than what should be, though. Uh, oh, of course. And you're going to worry about it. And and yeah. and uh, I was terrorized by a urologist every time he sent me out for a PSA test. And it would go up and it would go down. And it would you do all these things. And I'm going, you know, what, what's happening here? You know, and depending upon the doctor you have is how good they handle it. This This urologist I have... Is absolute gold. I mean, he's just terrific at handling me, at handling the situation. He's uh, very, he, he said, I'm never going to do a, a biopsy on you unless you absolutely need it. And he said, you absolutely needed it. And he saved my life. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you want is you want a good doctor. And if you mm -hmm. need one, I got one for you. Okay. Uh, I'll, let you I'll let you see how this, I, I haven't gone to this guy yet, but 
I'm letting you know, I guess. Because some of these guys like to like to put stuff up your penis that shouldn't be going up there. Oh God, you really. Oh, so you've had a cystoscopy, Alex? Oh, twice. Oh yeah, the first. Are you time, kidding me? And the first the nurse said, "Oh, you won't feel it." No. Oh yes, you will. No, no are you, are you, you know me? something's up with this. Cystoscopy is they go up oh, your God. penis into your bladder. And look Check, around. I can't handle Alex. And, I can't and, handle this already. And look yeah, around. The, the, the cystoscopy is is very uncomfortable for about ten seconds. Oh and, god. Yeah, but anyway, what ha well, what happened was, is that I um, I had this one doctor, say a bad urologist, bad urologist, who uh, every time I had blood in my urine, which is all the time, I've always yeah, had, had I've it. always had a slight trace of blood in my urine. It could be from a kidney. It could be from Stones, it could be from nothing in particular. Bladder infection. Whatever. And uh, every time he would find blood in there, and that was almost every time, time for another cystoscopy. What? Oh, you know, and then you go me. in there and they've got this snake uh -huh. covered oh, with, 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 with a tarp to to because they don't want you to see it. You know? And then la, they, la, 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 la. you know, the nurse stuck a, 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 a cotton swab in the head of my penis, you know, to, to numb it up. Oh, yeah, well, that was numb. But then they got two inches in and it was totally uncomfortable. Oh, okay. you know, they, 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 they spritzed some stuff down okay. there on me. But anyway, the point is yeah. that this guy just loved doing these cystoscopies. I guess it was because he was making 500 bucks a cystoscopy or a thousand oh, or something, oh, you know. And... Finally, I mean, I told my current urologist this story, and he said, this guy's, you know, this guy was just out of line doing that. So you got to be careful about who you go to, because urologists are people, I, I talked to my doctor once, and I said, I can't find a urologist I like. He, I said, I've had nothing but bad experiences with every urologist I've ever had. And he said to me, it's a weird profession. <laughs> You know, they're uh, looking at asses all day, no? Huh? What? They're looking at asses all day. No, you're not mm. only looking at asses, you're sticking your finger up asses all oh, day. Oh, another thing to look forward to. This is going to be someday. I get a lollipop on the fucking way out, probably. <laughs> I'm going with this. Like <laughs> oh. well, on, on the second cystoscopy while I was up there, I said, oh. I, hope, I, said I hope you're going to give me flowers afterwards. You yeah. know, this is going to be a nightmare. You ever had any of this, Brian? Don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. thank God. I'm glad you don't have to go through it, Brian. Well, you I'm would, taking you, one for the team. Right painful, this though. is my mother getting back at me. <laughs> what do I do to deserve this? You this will. It's like Merry Christmas. You, you, yeah, will, right. you will, Brian. You will. Eventually, you will. Uh, eventually, all of us meet the urologist. Okay. I didn't want to meet him just so soon <laughs> when they told me urologist. <laughs> I was like, what? I almost dropped the phone. I dropped all my packages. I was like, you got to be kidding me. This is a j I just, can I speak to the doctor, please? Hey, listen. Oh, he'll call listen, you back earlier, later. Busy er, earlier, tonight, earlier tonight, I had uh, Will Durst on. He's going to be on it. We did another one with him for next week. Um, and, you know, he, he had a stroke. Worry yeah. about that, you know? Worry about something like that happening, in which you just can't do anything with your life. That you just—he's yeah, oh, been lying in a bed for two, over two years. You know, yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's just terrible. terrible. You know. And personally, I hope the stroke kills me. Personally, we hope so too. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, my golf up here. I guess I'm naked. No, I mean, it, 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 strokes you don't die. Well, Jeff is oh. a guy who had a stroke, pretty profound stroke, right, Jeff? Oh yeah. Yeah. And and look at him; <coughs> he's in pretty good shape. This guy, you know. Yep. You know, there are a few things that still linger. And there's still problems, but you know, it took twenty years to learn how to walk again. Yeah, walking wasn't such a bad deal. Yeah. What, what was memory or something you said my biggest oh, part is i can't read anymore no yeah really? i tried oh. what I, what what does it look like when you try to read you can't understand what the word no you can't you know you look at it and it's like a word and, and you so you start talking about the letters 
Okay, this is why, oh, you, oh yeah, I remember what that is. And, you know, it, it just goes on. It's so slow. But is it selectively <laughs> something that just erases itself from your memory? Yeah. Wow. It's, wow. it's like that stuff that you had when you're, you're third grade and, they, you know, when you're three years old and you, you started to learn and, and you're just learning all kinds of words every, all the time. And yeah. then all of a sudden, one day, they just take them all away from you. Yeah. yeah. They're gone. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about the Torah. They take all the vowels and everything out of the Torah that you learn. Yeah. You know, and that's that makes that makes your bar mitzvah fun. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not worrying about that anymore. We won't talk about. It. So why don't you just get picture books, Jeff, like Playboy or something like that? That'll keep you entertained. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I, I just, mean, you know, I can look at a magazine. I, you know, I if it's got good pictures and stuff, you know, it's all right. I mm -hmm. I try to. There's a lot of things that you can read that are audio. Hey, I just noticed something. I have not been recording this show tonight. Ooh. Good. But I just, I just started video. recording it. So let's do the best damn good seven-minute show we've ever done. All right. Goodbye, okay. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been talk well, we've been talking to Tony about his prostate, so that you miss that. Not there's, much to miss. Nothing wrong with missing that. I still got Will Durst and you talking to him on YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. If anybody wants to see the Will Durst interview, it is has been up for a couple of days now. So yeah, it is I, there I, on YouTube. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I listen to it on the... Sometimes I miss a show during the week and I listen to it on my drive because my drive is about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So like on the Friday nights, I'll listen to it or that day and then I, I listen to... Uh, Will Durst the other day. Yeah, well, I might be able to download the show from... If you want to watch the show, folks, just go over to YouTube. You know? So we have 32 people uh, on YouTube looking, and Corbin or Forbin or something says, Alex's idea of a great doctor is someone who agrees with him. Not really. Not really. Not really. Somebody that takes good care of you is a good doctor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I I don't want a doctor who's going to just give me, no. say what I want to hear. You right. know, he will die. I want it. I want it straight, and I want. You know, it, it, the the thing about this one urologist that I have, this urologist that I have now that I like so much, is he really is straightforward, and he really is terribly honest about everything, and doesn't panic you. You know, he's 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 a, he's a very good doctor. You know, you know what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that. So I wonder what to expect. Oh, by the way, in case you just the, this is you just saw this abbreviated show, folks, mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. just started recording. Uh, Tony got a bad, a lower, oh. a higher PSA test. They told me slightly elevated. Slightly elevated. Yeah, One know. month to live. <laughs> is that slightly elevated, Alan? <laughs> well, that's slightly. what you told me. Yeah, it's not really. Super high. Yeah, compared to uh, to Kevin and and Alan, you're you know you're fine. I'm skating on good well, Alex, Alex I thought, what are you? And I, when she told me, I says, "Oh my God!" I said, "I got I got his thing." I said, "What do you mean? I caught, like you caught prostate cancer for me?" I know, but it's like I didn't mean it like that. I I almost dropped the phone when she told me. I was packing a book comic up. And by the way, what do you mean by the way? Like I have no one asked. You, you got what? I just, <laughs> I'm ready to go to the bakery yeah. for. By the for way, a we just cake. noticed. I'm coming back we, now. I threw everything out. <laughs> we just noticed your dick fell off. Yeah. By yeah. the way, oh, by the way, you got vitamin D in the house. What does that have to do with that? Really? Then me and my brother were going through the drive-thru. The doctor calls me through the drive-thru in the bank. Have a beer. Have Don't worry about it. He said, relax. Don't be so fatalistic. Yeah, I said, look who's talking. I'm saying to myself, <laughs> come on. I was like, I mean, I couldn't. He says, Alex, he said just like this. I was more worried about your fatty cholesterol. Well, is that bad? No, it's okay. Then what the hell are you mentioning for? I was like, is this like, am I supposed to be laughing at this? I didn't know. Yeah. My brother's like, don't worry about it. Put him on speaker. He's going to live, right? I said, you're really a vodka vote of confidence. <laughs> All I'm saying, Tony, it's too early yeah. in the game to worry about anything. 
You don't know. Alex, this, if I do drop dead, I'm going to leave you something. You don't know that this wasn't a one. No, I know. Time but if I do go tits up with this, you're in my will. Really? What am I getting? Where I can't tell you. I gotta have a little surprise here. You really will. If it something. had, if it, if it happens to be Scooby Doo comic book, no, I know not to leave you that. Yeah, I know not to leave. Don't you leave that. me I'm any Scooby Doo or like. anything like that. Right, Chip? You don't. What do What do you want from Tony? You want anything from Tony? Uh, Superman number one. Okay, I fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How much is Superman number one worth now? Oh, I can't. Oh. Siegel and Schuster. That you know what? I can probably Google it. I, you know, I think sold that. I think uh, I think Heritage sold that last year. I'd have to look. Hmm. There, there are uh, how many copies they, are they there? They never got paid any money, those guys. They never got paid any money, Siegel Schuster and Schuster. And, uh, Siegel? They died broke. Siegel and Schuster? Yeah, they died penniless. Really? They did, started getting credit in the movies and stuff. They, yeah. yeah, until the artists, like the Aladdin's fought for them because they were sick at the end. They had, like, no money. They were well, getting nothing of, from uh, Think of the, the guy I feel always sad about is Jack Kirby. Yeah, I told I told that to Shecky. He created Marvel, really. That family should be getting rewards for that whole thing. Yeah, and uh, also uh, they just recently started giving credit to Bill Finger for Batman. Yeah, did you see that documentary? He got nothing to do living up in the Bronx. Yeah, I saw a documentary. Yeah, penniless before he died. Yeah, what happened, guy folks, room. is they, the, the somebody the Finger family or whatever sued uh, and and uh, won the right. For Bill Finger to be credited uh, in every Batman thing now, every mm -hmm. Batman mm -hmm. movie or whatever. And if you look, the credit now reads, uh, created by Bob Kane with Bill Finger. You know what I was going to ask, Sean? Do you think, like whoever owns DC, I think it's Warner Brothers, you think they would have said with all that money, let's mm -hmm. do the right thing. Yeah. Even if we didn't give him credit, let's, give, let's, let's just take care of him on the side. Because Kane was probably fighting for like... I created, he created. Let's just send the guy some checks. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do something with all that money. You think a billion dollar company, you think they would have took care of, took care of this guy? Yeah. Yep. You would think yeah. so. You Not know. the way business works, unfortunately. No. Unfortunately. Well, you could be like Trump, just never pay you back. I'll get the checks in the mail. It's never coming. It's never coming. <laughs> well, anyway, we haven't heard from anybody else in the last hour, I'm Tony. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll be on the couch tonight dying again. It, oh, yeah. You're dying. You'll I'm, be fine, Tony. Yeah. Um, point what? seven eight only. Hmm? That's not going check. It's only point seven eight. Slightly elevated. That's the keyword I'm going to use. Slightly elevated. Take your vitamin D. Yeah, yeah. I got. I got. I got ten thousand milligrams of five thousand. I'm going to take the whole bottle and beat out. <laughs> yeah, you're going to you're going to overdose. On, I'm going to overdose on vitamin, vitamin D. I'll turn yellow. <laughs> you can see him committing suicide on an overdose of vitamin D. You watch the eleven o'clock well, news. Don't worry about mm -hmm. it, Tony. It's not time Fair to worry enough. about it yet. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much, guys. And it's yeah. good that your your doctor is on the case, and you're going to go see a urologist, and he's mm -hmm. going to check it out and probably give you a good, clean bill of health. You don't know the next test is going to come out just fine, you know. Sure. And I hope they just keep watching it. That's what I hope. Well, it can be elevated for any number of reasons. So don't worry. Stop it. Thank you. Thank you. Stop I'll be on. The, I'll be on. Uh, checks in the mail. My psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. call you from the doctor's office. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will too. You know. I'm going to put you on speaker. Hold on. Listen yeah. to what this guy's telling me. Yeah. Well, there's our theme for all of you people who've watched seven minutes of this show. Cool. That's this is our best show, too. Well, Unbelievable. Actually, actually, I can download this from the live broadcast, so uh, I'll do that. Anyway, hey, listen, this has been fun tonight, and we've gotten some good, a goodly amount of people watching it. At one point, we were almost 40, up to 40 people. Uh, and uh, it's because it was a nice, happy discussion tonight. Alan, no. thank you so much. <laughs> Brian, I hope the rest of your family feels better. And thank the, you. And none of them are H, uh, what is it, HIV positive. Yeah. <laughs> it's COVID positive. <laughs> HIV's nothing now. Uh, yeah. uh, Chip, thank you for calling. Love to hear from you. Uh, Jeff, good talking to you. Kevin, always a pleasure. And Tony, um, you've used up all your time for the next week. Anyway, no, I'll be a good blood winner if I call it. Yeah. You won't even know. Yeah. yeah. I'll okay. just be taking vitamins all night. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody give a it big wave. Yeah, wave. Take another 10, give a big wave goodbye and we'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. All right. There they go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our citizen panel. And let me come to me here. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
Let me uh, also get rid of them. Uh, let me see here. There we go. They're gone. And hey, that's it for us uh, tonight. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. Uh, and, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And as always, as I tell you, uh, get a, get the shot, okay? And if you don't, wear a mask. Care about your community. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.